Two days after pro-Palestinian protesters halted traffic and blocked the Golden Gate Bridge, calling for a ceasefire in the Israel-Hamas war, the district attorney is asking affected drivers to come forward. San Francisco's DA Brooke Jenkins said she's considering filing false imprisonment charges against the protesters and make them pay restitution for drivers who were trapped in their vehicles on the bridge for more than four hours during the demonstration. Under California's Marcy's Law, victims of a crime can secure restitution from the persons convicted of the crimes causing the losses they suffer. California Highway Patrol arrested 26 protesters on Monday. They were all released on misdemeanor charges Wednesday morning. Jenkins encouraged those drivers to call the California Highway Patrol and provide a statement claiming to be the victim of those protests. When we see these types of acts happen and, and the danger that they pose to the people who are on the bridge who might be suffering medical emergencies, who might have you know, significant things that they're trying to get to, people trying to get to medical appointments or procedures. Um, we take that very seriously. If there was a natural disaster like an earthquake and somebody is on that bridge and trapped, that is a serious situation, a life-threatening situation. And so we do take that seriously. The San Francisco Public Defender's Office pushed back against Jenkins, saying in a statement that her rhetoric amounts to a form of state violence and intimidation against people exercising their right to protest. Jenkins says she supports free speech. However, public safety comes first.